Hey y'all, welcome to my channel, Planet Based Storm. I'm Stormy, and today this is the last installment of the Thanksgiving series with Miss Lee. So we thought that we would round this series out with some delicious plant-based desserts, and I can't wait to see what she has in store for us, so let's go ahead and take a look. My name is Miss Lee and my channel is called Healthy on a Budget. It's where I show you how to live healthy while you're on a budget. And I am so thankful to Stormy for having me once again on her channel. And today I'm sharing my delicious dessert that I've made. And this is part of our collab that we've been doing for the last couple of weeks. So if you missed any of those videos, go back and watch them. I'm excited to share, so I'm gonna share what I made. These are the ingredients that you will need for your blueberry cobbler. I have four cups of frozen wild blueberries. There's three cups in here and one cup here. I have juice of half a lemon. You can also use lemon zest or you can use orange juice. I have tapioca starch. I'm going to be, this is, I don't remember what brand this is, but I have it in one of my last videos. This will thicken, so you're going to need some tapioca starch. You will need a little bit of your vanilla extract, and this is the brand that I'm using from Trader Joe's. And you can sweeten it as much as you'd like. I am sweetening it with three tablespoons of maple syrup. And I find that this one is sweeter than the darker one from Trader Joe's, so I'm using this maple syrup. The first thing that you're doing is you're gonna be adding your frozen blueberries or fresh blueberries to your pan. Next, just add your other ingredients. This is the lemon juice. I have the maple syrup. The vanilla extract. This is the tablespoon of tapioca starch. You can also add arrowroot starch or corn starch. Anything will thicken it. Now you're going to set this aside and work on your topping. For the flour, I'm using one cup of rolled oats. You can keep them whole or you can grind them. I want to grind them because I want them to be more of a smoother topping. So all you do to make oat flour is take the oats, put them in a blender, your own homemade oat flour. And that's how it looks. So for the ingredients of the topping, you will need one cup of flour. I'm using oat flour here. You can use any other type of flour. You will need some salt. You can use up to one fourth teaspoon or a pinch. You will need plant milk. Now this is half a cup of regular almond milk and half a cup of coconut milk. I used this one. The coconut milk will give the topping a little bit of creaminess. You will add nutmeg and cinnamon as your spices. I have one tablespoon of maple syrup and two tablespoons of baking powder. This is gonna cause the crust to rise a little bit. My plant milk. Flour. Cinnamon. I'm just adding as much as I want but I'm only adding a tiny bit of nutmeg. I'm adding a little bit less than 1 4 teaspoon of salt. You can add as much salt as you like. Baking powder, maple syrup, you can also add vanilla, I've been trying to add some. I don't have any left, but what I have, I'm going to add. Now the topping has been mixed and I'm going to add it. Now you don't want this to be perfect, so Oven's already been preheated to 350, so I'm gonna put this in the oven and you'll see how it looks when it comes out. You can use a more shallow pan. I just wanted to make sure that in case the topping rises that there would be enough room. 
So I've cleaned up the edges of the pan and now it's time to bake at 350 for about 40 minutes. And here it is, it just came out the oven. Now I'll show you how I plate it and make it look even more delicious. Here is my vegan blueberry cobbler with cocoa whip and a sprinkle of cinnamon. Just add a little bit of that to make it a little bit more special and extra tasty. So this is the cocoa whip that I used. It does have a little bit of oil, but since this is for the holidays, it's only two tablespoons of fat. So and it's delicious and there's no other weird ingredients in there. Now I'm gonna try this. This looks so good. I've already tried this before actually when I was cooking it. When I was baking it right after it came out, I tried some and it's delicious, but now I added the topping onto it. Of course, it's kind of melted, so it is so good. It's better that you use a shallow pan because I the blueberries stretched out a little bit more than I wanted them to, but if you use a shallow pan, you'll have more blueberries like thicker blueberry layer, and then you'll have a thicker crust layer. But it tastes delicious, so it, I'm, per I'm perfectly happy with how it came out. You got your crust, you got your blueberry, and you have your coconut whip. So good. I'm so proud on how the crust came out. The blueberries, it's delicious. So definitely try this. Thank you for watching this recipe. And if you're not subscribed to us, please do so if you like our content and have a great day. Well, Miss Lee, thanks so much for sharing that delicious looking recipe. If you like what you saw, don't forget to check out our other recipes. And as always, thanks so much for watching. Outtakes. This is really, really good. I'm not just saying it. It's so delicious. My mom just had some and she was like, oh my gosh, this is great. I love it. Definitely, definitely, definitely have to make this. Here, you want to try some? Definitely, definitely, definitely have to make this. So good.